Better boy, baby, you come on. First fish of the year. We got too much stuff going on here in the boat. So it's uh, July 13th, we're getting ready to head to the Exploits River, myself, Chris Follett and Gerard Hayes, and see if we can catch a few salmon, hopefully get a little bit of footage. So hopefully you'll enjoy, and make sure you subscribe to Angling and Arrows on YouTube and Instagram. Thanks for watching. We're two hours away from Bishop's Falls now. Can't wait to get a lawn in the water. Who do you think is going to catch the most fish this trip? Me. Gerard. I'm definitely catching them. Hayes is catching them all. Hayes is catching them all. Very good, dude. We're going with Hayes. <laughs> no pressure on you, dude. No pressure. No pressure. Just don't follow me, that's all. Okay, he's on the sandbar. Yeah. I'd back down the fish. I'd back down the fish the other side. Yeah, it's crazy. So this is the uh, Exploits River in Bishop Falls. This is an island that actually used to be joined onto the shore over here at one time, but uh, due to some flooding and some blasting, they changed it uh, quite a long time ago. So the salmon going up this river actually pass on both sides of this island. So it's more comfortable than fishing from a boat. So we're gonna go up on this little island here in the river and we're gonna fish both sides of it, and see if we can catch some Atlantic salmon. But it's good fishing, good fishing conditions. Uh, the guys out here in the middle boat, that's one of the best spots on the river. It's been producing a lot of fish this week. Uh, the other good spot is on the back over here. There's a guy, be, guy behind me. He's there fishing. That's probably the second best spot on this river. But uh, the boats have certainly been producing a lot of fish out there this week. Uh, July is when the salmon, early July is when the salmon tend to go up this river. Uh, anywhere from the middle of June to the middle of July is prime fishing time. This year it seems to be a little bit later, but there are quite a few fish here now. Apparently there's about 11,000 gone through the fish counter just behind us. Uh, the annual runs for this river average about 25 to 30,000 fish per season. I'm tying on a bomber. It's kind of a light brownish with grey hackle. A little bit of a different colour. A little bit of uh, silicone gel on it to make it float. Throw this out and see how it goes. It's floating good. Some bombers are hit or miss the way they float. That guy there is floating good. Especially when they're Especially when they're dry. Before you get them too wet, they float. They tend to float better. I think there was a fish came up to look at that that time.
You guys fall there? Fuck, he's gone under the cliff. Gone. Fuck a lot. The land's gone underneath the cliff. I think he's gone. Fucker. Big fish. Yeah, it looks like a fucking underneath the cliff. He's a big fish. He could have been too big. And the exploits. You better call them out on the back of our track this time. Me too, fella. Perfect. Nothing like a tight line. You gotta love it. You're done. <laughs> Gotta love it. Catch and release on the exploits. There he goes. Perfect. Never had to touch him. You want me to tear out that for you? Yeah, no, nah, let me know. You wrote this crowd there, we don't know. I would have. I thought I was asking this off. You want me to tear out that and get your fly for you? Well, we're after getting a few. We got, we got our tags in there. No, I hear you, buddy. I hear you. 